evening, everyone, and welcome to Conservation Commission, February 18. I'm going to call it to order. I will let everyone here know that we are being recorded, uh, broadcast on public access television, and recorded for future broadcast and all of that. So please, let's play nice tonight. Uh, meeting minutes from February 4. Uh, almost. We have to make a couple friendly amendments. Um, discussion other. Uh, it says Peter's working on a new policy regarding appointment to the commission. It's actually appointment to any committee. Uh, what's that? Go ahead. Oh, never mind. Go yeah? ahead. That's, that's fine. And I think I'm going to leave the rest of it as I don't think there's anything else. We're talking about so other than that friendly amendment all in favor Aye. Aye. thank you very much and we have three minutes to kill we have a forest cutting plan for whitehall road anyone who's interested in looking at it please We also have the Nashua River Watershed Periodic, if someone's interested in that, to learn all about their annual report and their Nashua River Wild and Scenic River Study Highlights. And now we have two minutes to kill. Uh, let me take just a minute to update folks on bylaws. I had a discussion with Joe Buckley last week now uh, about the EPA letter and how we and the bylaws that we need to pass. Uh, one of his ideas, because the Conservation Commission already has authority over anything that that's within our jurisdictional area of wetlands, uh, and we already do. We already manage all the erosion controls, all the sediment controls. Joe was asking if the committee thought it might be okay to extend that authority to all the construction that, um, that would reasonably be expected to drain into the stormwater system. So it's still not the whole town because stormwater doesn't go throughout the whole town. But this is what the EPA is looking for is, is – uh, 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 regulation that authorizes a body to, well, to regulate it and to monitor it and to enforce it. And the way that we do in CONCOM with the minimally once in advance and once at the end for a, for a closing order of conditions uh, might be an okay way to go, depending upon how the commission feels about that. I'm not asking for opinions now. I'm just sort of bringing it up for the first time. So think about it. We'll discuss it more next time. And it's 7.05. Let's open a notice of intent hearing for 86 Maple Lab Sol Systems, LLC. Please. Has everybody signed in to the sheet? If you're here, please do. Maria Furstenberg of CRC representing Salt Systems here. This is a notice of intent filed with the commission because a portion of the solar facility is within the 100 foot buffer zone of wetlands. So the site is 86 Maple Ave, which is now 41 block A lot 3. Um, the whole parcel itself is 
just shy of 88 acres. The project takes up about 22 acres of the site. We filed an ANRAD over the summer, so we confirmed the wetland lines, um, and so the ORAD was issued back in August, and those are the lines that are used on this plan set. So, so for anyone that isn't familiar with that plan, of where the wetlands and things are, we have um, a stream that, that basically runs south parallel to Maple Ave. It goes into a large pond, and south of that pond, it becomes a perennial stream. So we have some riverfront area along the eastern side of the site, and then we have wetlands along the southern border and in the northwest corner. So everything is designed to basically avoid those particular areas, but also to be set back kind of down the hill so that it's not immediately visible from the road, etc. There is uh, an existing gravel pathway in, in a few places on the site, so in several instances, we're utilizing those or improving them. So if we go to sheet three, this is the proposed site plan. And as you can see, we're using this portion of the existing gravel road. We're improving it and we're putting in two equipment pads and then the rest is solar panels. There's a, an access around the perimeter for fire safety, etc. And there is a six foot chain link fence that's proposed around the perimeter of the facility for security. So it would go, I assume, Basically, there's a perimeter around just the solar, not the rest of the right. property. Right. It's um, basically. Yeah. Like okay. That. Um, well, but the rest of the property already has a perimeter fence around. Yes, it does. Yes, the two giant openings. I'm sorry. With two openings, <laughs> one on each end for the road. Um, the project School itself entrance, I guess. Um, includes yeah. about 12,000 square feet of gravel road and 4,800 square feet of equipment pads. Um, it's fixed tilt panels and totals about 8 megawatts DC. The rows are designed so that there's approximately 10 feet of grass areas between each row of panels. And out of that, we're proposing approximately 1.1 acres of impact to buffer zone. Um, and that's really due to tree clearing and installation of the arrays. There's no um, gravel road or equipment pad proposed within the buffer zone. We have included a stormwater report and checklist in our submission. It includes multiple flood models and meets the Massachusetts stormwater standards. There's limited grading proposed on the site. Um, most of it is in the northwest corner, and there's a small amount in the southeast corner. Um, in general, we have proposed uh, silt fence and straw bale combination around the perimeter of the site and we're proposing to clear the site in stages and stabilize the sections as we go to minimize the amount of, of runoff and, and such. How many different phases do you plan? If I can just use the word phase. <laughs> <laughs> so in the in the NOI we've outlined two phases which is basically like a 
an erosion control when clearing mm -hmm. phase and then an installation phase. But the idea is to move through the site in segments. We don't have that specified okay. in here. Um, but the, the idea is to, to do a piece, stabilize it, and then keep moving. Um, the intent is to use the existing access from Maple Ave to access the site. There are invasive plants that were noted during the wetland delineation and ANRAD process, so we are proposing that vehicles be washed when they're entering and leaving the site uh, to control the spread of those. And that's, that's really most of what I wanted to tell you, so I'd like to know if you have any questions. The grading you have planned for those two areas, is it to Is it low? Yeah, exactly. I mean, is What's it is it, is it, it sort of multi-level tiered now, and you're just smoothing it out, or? Yeah, it's it's basically to smooth it a little. The vast majority of it, we don't have to regrade because we we do have flexibility mm -hmm. in the actual surface area, but that that area is a little too um, not smooth, if you will. <laughs> so. You talk a little bit about phasing. Right now there's two phases, and it sounds like maybe that might change a little bit. Are you still going to clear everything first, but then construct individual segments? The, there's basically, the, there are two phases that would get repeated. So okay, so the whole site won't be cleared at once. It would be cleared, construct, cleared, construct. I think that that's <laughs> the intent. <laughs> Probably. Um, Excuse me. Uh, for the record, uh, Rennie Friedman, uh, Director of Project Development for Soul Systems. Um, our, our preference would be, I think with the exception of one small area, would be to clear the entire site at once. Um, and I believe for previous discussions, the town actually maybe might want to do that clearing. Um, that would be our strong preference to be able to do that, uh, to be able to clear the entire site at once. We will stabilize things as we go, though. Yeah, I guess that would be my the big concern to clear all that once and just let it if it sat for whatever reason. Right, um, that's twenty-two acres. Right. What do you have a seed mix that you're proposing for in between the panels? Um, yes, we do. It's an it. attachment. Yeah. Um, well, we, we seed have mix. Proposed a, a conservation and erosion control seed mix for dry sites um, where applicable, and we have also proposed the New England conservation wildlife mix for the areas that are actually within the buffer zone. Mm -hmm. What would the yearly um, maintenance look for that? Like, how many times would you have to go in and mow? Uh, it's typically a couple times a year. Yeah, it's anywhere from three to six times per year. Mo most of the sites that we've had in Massachusetts have been on the order of two to three times. It, it's about keeping um, the height from exceeding the solar panels. Yep. So to the bottom. It's either two and a half or three, but yeah. It's, it's about two and a half to three feet to, to the bottom of the panel, so that's the height at which we want to make sure <coughs> it gets. And all the ground surface around the panels is proposed as vegetated? Yes. Okay. Any tree removal outside of this area to make sure you've got good shade lines, good sun lines? What's the closest point to the wetland? Uh, for the, the limit of disturbance or the panels? Limit of disturbance. 25 feet. Okay. We, in the southern area and the northwest corner, we're going up to the 25 okay. foot no disturb zone. Is the access road being widened, or is just being reinforced with better materials? 
and cleared um, better. This portion is being widened and improved. We don't have anything proposed for this portion. Um, part of it is that it's slightly within the water protection zone, mm -hmm. so we can't really do anything to it. But, but that portion is actually the portion that's in the best shape out of what's there. Skip, any questions? No. I'm good. Open up to the audience. Anyone have questions or comments? If you're concerned about the width of the road, it's probably 20 feet now. Oh, no, I'm not concerned. No, I'm just I understand. Asking. I'm yeah. just pointing it out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's wide enough for our purposes. We don't have to do anything mm -hmm. to it, but it's also in a location where we shouldn't do anything to it. Right. Do we need any other information to close this here? Do you remember? Last I checked, we didn't. Do you know if, if I haven't seen anything? I have not. I looking. have not seen anything. It's so not loading. So I will call them and pester them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I would like, please, a motion to continue for. I know it's actually four weeks because we're not meeting in. We're not meeting the first week. That's our that's our election day, oh. and it's in this building, so we can't meet. <laughs> so we have four, four or five, depending on how the weeks work out. It's March. Four weeks till our next. March seventeenth. March seventeenth. So move to second. All in favor? Aye. So, so pending a, a file number. Once we need, once we get a pile n file number, we can wrap everything else up. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It is by pure luck that I will this to the seat mix page. <laughs> Could you tell? Alrighty. Thank you so much. Got to kill one minute. That was timed well, but good. That was amazing. <laughs>
Did this one have a... No, no, this didn't have a uh, detention pond of any sort on this one, right? No. Mm -hmm. This is a little okay. bit of grading on the back side. And we'd already agreed well, to... 80 feet away. Concom had already seen all the wetlands, so we basically agreed to them in the past. Yeah. What else do we need to do here today? Issue a negative. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Do we have the paperwork? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Only two today. Okay. Yes, because this is going to get scanned to Denise, correct? Yes. Okay. Yep. So I did one for them and one for us to scan to her. All right. So. First of all, let's check off the right thing. We want a negative determination for oh, work. Uh, this one, buffer. Defined, but will not alternate. Right. Subject of, and we don't have any conditions, right? No, just follow the follow Man, the approved don't mess plan it up. set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll <laughs> take a motion to sign the termination of applicability with a negative termination for reason three. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One. Check. This is all dated, right? Yes. Now he could sign a call early. Yeah, I think so. So now when you see yeah. it, now we can get us done. That would be good. And I'll try that's, why to go in. that's why we're here. <laughs> so don't I'm forget sure. why we're here. <laughs> I'll try to go in Snyder tomorrow and do the viewpoint thing to make yeah, them so. happy too. <laughs> I put comments you'd be here yeah, tonight yeah. and we <laughs> figure it all out. So now you're done. Next. Can't leave that quick. No, I got more. I'm done. He's done. All done. I'm I want to say more to me. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> done. Thank done. you very much. Thank you. Can well, you get a copy of it? Yeah, you can get a copy of it. Yeah, you want to see? Grab that right there. Yeah, sure. Put that in your vault. <laughs> Thank you. I had to come by. Can I use the remaining time <laughs> to submit? Absolutely. We have time. Perfect. We got a couple of notices for whenever we can get to them. We got one on Wachusett Street for it's uh, Deanna Long. And they're looking to I want to submit, but I'm going to go show you a little bit of another one. So we have to do a site walk in the mm. Single family house. This is located, this is the rail trail. Ah, okay. <laughs> Her house is right here. There is a forklift stream. That's there's a culvert pipe in their driveway here. This lot here needs the same type mm -hmm. of crossing. We're proposing a bottomless box culvert, so no disturbance of any banks or any wetlands or. Well, there is a little bit of disturbance. We've got 298 square feet just to fit that because it's it not in. perfectly mm -hmm. straight. So we. How to use so it's less than 500 so we're not looking to do any replication because uh, we're not going to do any removal of the stream bed. Yeah, itself. you're not filling, you're not doing any of So stuff. we decided to go with that route instead of a culvert pipe. That way it'll knock a lot of other issues out of the picture. And it's just for the driveway and then the house is way, way up, way up on top of the hill. We've got uh, 10 acres so it's way off. So that's that. There's notices, fees, because it's a crossing. We've got to make lots of money on this one. <laughs> <laughs> and the advertising fee. Did you get the notice that it's $35 instead of 30 now? 35 bucks. Oh, thank <laughs> goodness. Julie, did you get one of those for Mike? Because I didn't have anything for Mike. Um, or RDA. A what? A check? Mm -hmm. oh, is he gone? Yep. 
And that one was 42 because the. Well, the I'll have to have him drop that off if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just right. drop it in yep. town hall. You gotta get them when they're here. I know. I just, I just heard to me. So, <laughs> so I'll have to do a sidewalk on that. And I don't know if you guys can come up with what would work. We got lots of time between the next meeting, so yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple of weeks from now is fine. A couple of three weeks. The First thing I'm going to look at is the weather outlook. All right. I think the further into March, probably the better because hopefully less chance of snow. Well, you don't want to see it all covered up and pass or what? <laughs> you know, so you can or can't? I can do anything before can't. the 9th, otherwise I'll be in Mexico. Well, so I'll see you later. this says Saturday's going to be 40 and Sunday's going to be 46. This weekend? Yeah. And the, can we, I can't make it. We can't do that. Okay, no. fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Then we'll take a guess, though. Why don't we... Next to 17th, so we have. How about the 29th? That's the MACC conference. It is. It is. How about. <laughs> I'm not going though. <laughs> Neither am I. I just can't <laughs> afford it right now for time, but. Are you doing. Are you teaching classes this time? Not on, not on this one. Okay. No. no, my classes are in March. In Ethel. Not associated with the annual conference. Yeah. March seven. I can do that. I can probably do it. That's going to work to me. March seven. Ten a.m. Uh, I think that's pretty ten, good. Ten a.m. Yep. Where are we meeting? And it's. Um, Watch well, who's in the round trap. Right. There's. Uh, I think there's an address. Let's go. Uh, 134 Wachusa Street, the driveway's right there. Okay. Close enough, I know what that means. Good. Okay, that's scheduled. Now, now we've got two lots. Uh, Maple Lab, which are on a complete lab on a subdivision that was just approved. Mm -hmm. Well, six lot subdivision, and we're just buffer zone. There's no crossing. There's no. It's just working the buffer zone. Right, sure. Yeah, that's about the same. Maple, Maple. Yep. Maple Lab is here. The road's going in here. There's two lots in the end. There's a wetland finger that goes this way. Okay. And we're in the buffer zone. There's a hundred foot buffer. So it's just buffer zone work. Um, none of the uh, we didn't need to do anything for the subdivision because we saved everything having to do with soil water is outside the hundred foot. Mm -hmm. So that worked out pretty well. It's easier yeah, that these way. These look like pretty easy walks. This is a very easy one. That's a uh, pretty open. We can probably do both the same day, right? Sure. Yeah, I would think so. Oh, let's piss everybody off and, and, and set the address at zero Maple Lab. <laughs> <laughs> so is the other one right just next adjacent to it? This, this is this one and the other one's right here. Number okay. three and four. Yeah. This project was uh, totally redesigned to avoid any of the road before this. The original design had it. We're going through the wetland, going through the crossing, and all that back in 2006. And right. We were able to. Yeah, two neighbors got together and worked together. And they traded some land, and it worked out perfect. That's right. Good. So, March 7, right after we go there. Yep, exactly. Um, and we'll queue these both up for March 17th. Sure. Should I use for an address for both things that Uh, Do we have a street name? Uh, 
That's going to be cut now. It's not. You can punch it in. It's going to be Teresa, but it's not there yet. It is. next door. Do you have any way of looking up the assessors? I have just a pointer to you, the closest one. Actually, you can probably pull it out faster than I can. 7 right here so it's uh, I would go with that address because it's a little driveway right here yeah. so um, it's 125 maple about 125 next to next to yeah. what's this okay. one here 129 between 125 127 and 125 and a half <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a. 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 so yep, a, B, that's the spot All right. Well, thank you. Great. Thank you. And then uh, the hearing is when? 17th. March. Seven ten. Do you have time? Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do seven o five so that we can wrap up. So okay. systems. I'll do seven ten for you guys. Right. Between among your three, they'll all start at seven ten. Right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was easy. Thank you. We'll see you guys. We'll see you. Bye, Bye, and the crowd is thinning. Yeah. So <laughs> let's open up a hearing for notice of tender for Brent Hall Estates and Grizzly Drive. Gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for coming and being patient. Thank you. Table rather than okay. putting on a easel. No, the cameras can't see it. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, good evening. Uh, for the record, my name is Tom Liddy, professional wetland scientist from Lucas Environmental. Uh, uh, joining me is Chris Anderson from Hannigan Engineering here to present the notice of intent for the Britain Estates uh, residential subdivision. Um, I have, I don't know if you collect these. Put those right there. Okay. Are the two of you signed in? I have not. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you probably recall we were here last month. Um, going back further, we requested an amendment to the order conditions for the Britain Estates uh, subdivision. Um, you indicated that you prefer a new notice of intent. So that's what we did. We filed a new notice of intent with fees. We re-notified of butters and um, basically presenting the same plan we went through last time. 
uh, which was to you know seek approval for Fertile Stage, it's a 34 lot subdivision that's been in various modes of planning for 30 something years. Uh, we have uh, two wetland crossings uh, in order to access this development. Our wetland impacts are roughly around uh, just below 10,000 square feet. Um, each crossing has a large box culvert to uh, meet stream crossing standards and to allow flows. At uh, the first crossing, we actually put in some additional smaller culverts to allow uh, more flow. Um, so basically, we'd just like to come in and you know start a new filing. I understand that Quinn Engineering did the review for the last previous notice of intent, um, told that they were mailed a check last week, so they should receive it. They did. They, they confirmed did receive yesterday. It. He, yeah, Kevin received okay, it. Okay, great. Um, so basically what we'd like to do is just restart that review under this new notice of intent. Um, as you probably... So if I can ask one fast question. So are you doing a complete, a completely new notice of intent for the whole thing, or is this just an NLI for the two crossings? So we did it for everything. Okay. Um, I think it would be just cleaner administratively. So what we'd like to do is just keep the existing order just there, and then ultimately, if we do, when we get, or if we do get approval, everything will be under this notice of intent, and we can just and request a certificate and close that out for good. Um, I think that would be the cleanest that's, way to do that. That's fine. This is not, yeah. not an objection, just making sure I understand what's happening. Right. <laughs> is everyone on the same page? Yes. Okay. Right. So, um, you know, hopefully Quinn can pick up the review. I know you're not meeting in for another month. Right. Mm -hmm. So ideally this could be kind of going on in the background. We have, um, you know, we have permits with DEP for 401. Uh, we're trying to sit down with Gary Domain and go in the next week or two to kind of just sit down with DEP and see what they want to see, primarily with respect to the, you know, the culverts and the, the crossings themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the DCR variants ongoing. We have a public hearing scheduled for March 4th um, to go through that. And then we, all, we still are in uh, permitting with the Army Corps as well. So it seems like the next month we'll kind of be hopefully getting- You guys have a very good team line. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be getting these four different agencies and including the commission to kind of you know agree on what this should look like mm -hmm. essentially um so that's that's could just kind of a, a quick overview so um i guess with your permission i don't know if we reach out to quinn or, or if that's something we do i was going to ask to make do have we asked quinn last time did we ask them to start doing something or did the applicant reach out to the applicant did. okay Okay, so, so yeah, um, I can I can reach out to Kevin and um, Carl and give them the PDF copies of everything and make sure they have hard copies. Maybe just copy to make on the emails so yep. that we're kind of kept on the loop. Absolutely. Okay, and then and then we'd like to come back, and then there'll probably be a lot of back and forth with Quinn and. All right. We'll mm -hmm. come back and hopefully have everything wrapped up in a nice bow and. Um, be nice to get that done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. We'll see what happens. Did anything, um, I guess, of consequence come out of the MEPA filing? No, we got the certificate. Okay. Um, DCR and DEP issued comment letters, um, as we, we have your comment letter as well. Um, we did not get scope for any supplemental DIR or, or any kind of EIR, mm -hmm. and they just said go on and, and hash it out with. DEP um, and DCR, so okay. so we're ready to go to state permitting, and we expect everything to hopefully um, wrap up simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Other questions from anyone else in the audience in the in the ether? <laughs> Okay, and I guess we continue, right? Continue. We continue. I'll accept a motion to continue till March 17th. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Marvelous. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aren't you glad you spent that much time coming down here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only three minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> he wins. <laughs>
icy out. Yeah, be, yeah, be careful on the way home. It is icy. So those are today's hearings. <laughs> Any other discussions or business before the commission tonight? Have you talked about the bylaw? How'd you make out any more progress on the uh, identification? Yes, I'm meeting, Justin's on vacation this week. I'm meeting with him next week. If I got my act together, we might have had them already. We might have been able to hand them out. <laughs> you don't get our pictures on them? Oh, yes, yes, you do. Where do you get the pictures from? Um, he works with Chief Monaco. <laughs> yes, I've seen my registry photo on the market. No. It's pretty awful. Using registry photos? Yes. No. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> oh, I'm no. not sure I want to go through a photo shoot with you people. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you community one. <laughs> Peter, Justin. Uh, just a second, I can answer that question. When I bring up, no, I bring up email. Justin Bassett. So he sent me a couple mock-ups. One was only the size of our current driver's license. I thought that was too small. I was looking for something bigger that we wear in a lanyard. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll be meeting with him on a couple of things to, to look at a couple other examples and we can settle on one and get them all done so that when we meet next time, I expect to hand them out. Oh, exciting. Don't look too hard. Well, and, <laughs> and that means I have to find some lanyards that I can buy on Amazon. <laughs> Get some made with Conservation Commission. I'm going to be bright green. I think they should have frogs in them. Ooh. Just frogs, saying. snakes, wildlife. Just saying. <laughs> or like you could each have a different yeah. creature. Like, uh, lizards. Oh, now that's a thought. Or something, you know? <laughs> Just don't go crazy. We're not a coastal community. No dolphins, sure. no sharks. <laughs> Spotted salamanders it is. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm partial to the wood frog. They can freeze in the winter and come back. Wow. That is a certain That's trick. Mm. All right. Other questions? Anything else? No. Motion to adjourn. So, uh, second. <laughs> Well, all in favor? Aye. I guess so. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>